Hello, this is Tara with MomCanDoAnything.com, and I'm going to walk you through how I made these pendulum paintings. Um, this was a lot of fun and um, not hard at all. So this is a fun, easy DIY wall art idea. And you might have seen these before, but um, this is how I did this one. I painted two canvases with black chalkboard paint and then I laid them out in my driveway and um, set up a ladder over the top and then I created a pendulum by um, tying a cello cup over uh, hanging down from the ladders over the canvases. I poked a hole in the bottom of the solo cup and um, covered it with painter's tape. Then I filled the cup with, I just used uh, ceiling paint, white ceiling paint that I had um, in the garage. And I filled the cup probably um, three fourths of the way full. And um, I just had the one hole in the bottom of the cup. Then I pulled the paint, painter's tape off the bottom of the cup and swung the cup over the canvases and um, I've seen these done where they are uh, very specific and they want to make sure they get the um, the pattern that comes out when you swing the um, cup in a certain way or bucket or whatever you're using but I was just sort of wanting to play around this was the first time I had done this and I wanted to um, just I wanted to use all the paint. So I continued to move the cup and um, swing it in different directions and just see uh, how it turned out. I ended up with more paint in the middle of the canvases than I did on the outside. Obviously, just when the cup slows down, um, you know, it just kind of repeats its pattern in the middle and you just wind up with more more paint in the middle. This wasn't an issue um, except for when I let these dry and I ended up with uh, some cracks in my paint. After this was dry I did um, seal it with some uh, clear spray sealer. I chose not to brush a sealer on because I was worried about the cracks in the paint and I was worried that um, some of it might come off the canvas. So I used a spray and that worked great. Um, it added a little shine to the finish and because um, I chose a glossy finish. Um, here at the end of this I just uh, had some drips that I, I liked so I wanted to kind of balance those out and um, so I just kind of swung the cup in a you know, direction and let some of the paint drip um, and um, created some balance in the in the paintings. I hung these, uh, finally found a spot um, and hung these in my guest bedroom and uh, decided they needed to be hung closer together. Um, in the middle, some paint ran down in between the canvases, which was not a problem unless you hung them far apart. So I decided that they needed to be hung close together um, and I found a spot in the guest bedroom like I said. So this was this was fun and easy and um, I think the result was great. It's something that I'll probably do again and um, let my kids help me out. Um, I think they would really enjoy this and you know you can you can do different colors. You could uh, put a different color on top of this. You could obviously uh, start with a different color as your uh, base color on your canvas, but um, definitely put a drop cloth or cardboard or something down. This was my driveway. It was no big deal, but um, it was a lot of fun. So anyway, maybe give it a try. Thanks for watching.